Welcome to Car and Driver, I'm Carlos Lago. You know, I used to have a theory that you could measure the coolness of a car by the width of its fenders. The two were directly related. And if that theory is true, may or may not be, that would make this Ford Bronco Raptor the coolest vehicle currently on sale. We're getting an early peek of the Bronco Raptor. And in this video, we're gonna explain what it is, what makes it so cool and why it's so wide. Bronco comes from the factory with 37 inch tires, full stop. There's no base 35s like the F-150 Raptor. This is a 37 inch tire. That's the largest tire you can get on any SUV and any vehicle that comes to mind outside of the Raptor. I may be wrong, but definitely when it comes to SUVs. I just love how this thing looks. The whole thing is inspired by the off-road trucks you'll see at the King of the Hammers, the Ultra 4 series of racing. But let's take a look at some of the details. So. On the hood, you've got functional vents on the hood and the fenders. Those are great for extracting heat, obviously, but they also just look rugged. Now, this thing is as wide as an F-150 Raptor. It's like something like nine inches wider than the stock Bronco. That's why these fenders look so massive. And if you get up close, you can actually see how far these tires jet out versus the body line. I mean, the center line of the tire is almost in line with the stock body width of the Bronco. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start talking about the Bronco Raptor from the front and move our way to the back. Up at the front, you get a upgraded front bash plate. This is steel, heavy duty with tow hooks right there for recovery if you need to. At the sides of the steel bumper, there's a couple things to talk about. You've got these rigid LED fog lights. The inner ones are capped from the factory because they're so bright in combination with the outside ones that you can't actually drive them on the road legally. Once you get your Bronco and you go off-road, remove your caps and you're good to go. These end caps right here are removable and that helps you improve the clearance at the front end of the vehicle. Very cool stuff. Let's move up and talk about the engine. Before we pop the hood, see these amber lamps? Whoa, Black Betty, amber lamps? Uh -huh. uh, anyway, they're there because this thing is so much wider than the standard Bronco. It's actually a legal requirement like it is on the F-150 Raptor, but let's pop the hood. That's what you all wanna see anyway. This is a three liter twin turbo V6. It's connected to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Ford says it's targeting 400 horsepower, but hasn't released a torque figure yet, but that should be plenty sufficient amount of power. One cool thing though, there's many cool things, but one of the cool things that sticks out is that this engine has an anti-lag feature. And when you're in the Baja drive mode, that's specific to the Raptor, it keeps the exhaust flowing when you're off the gas pedal to keep the turbo spooled. So when you get back on the gas, you still have boost to keep you flying through the desert at full speed. Pretty cool stuff. But it isn't just the width or the power. It's also all the suspension changes underneath that are meant to accommodate tires this big. So at the front end, uh, you've got Dana 44 half shafts at the rear, Dana 50 solid rear axle. You've got Fox Racing shocks, integrated reservoir at the front, external reservoir at the rear. You've got wheel travel that's similar to the Ford F-150 Raptor. It's like 13 inches front, 14 inches rear. That's a lot of wheel travel for a tire this big. As we move back though, you can see that the rock rails, which are standard on the Raptor, have these removable side steps, which for my male audience, that's satisfying. That's a satisfying sound. It actually hurts your knuckles through all these padded gloves that I'm wearing. At the back end, this is a really cool detail. These really wide fenders will attract a lot of rocks. This piece is removable and replaceable for when it gets damaged by rocks. Let's take a look at the back. You actually get five 37 inch tires because the Bronco Raptor comes with a full size spare mounted at the back of the vehicle. And that means 
more complications for how you make this all fit because this tire is so big and this wheel and tire package is presumably quite heavy. So Ford reinforced the structure that holds this tire on the back of the Bronco. They've added a taller version of a brake light here because you still need to be able to remove the roof. This is a Ford Bronco after all. Detail I quite like on the back of this is when you look through the rear view mirror, you'll see Raptor <laughs> facing the correct direction. That's a, that's a very cool little detail. The Raptor will only be available with a four-door and will have a hard top to start. We pulled it off here because, hey, it's a Bronco and that's, that's what you do. The version that we're looking at has the optional suede interior seating package. There's a couple different packages that you'll be able to get on the Raptor, but I'll call that out because the base Raptor will have vinyl seats and rubberized floors that you can hose out just like the regular Bronco. The seats are specific to the Raptor as well. They've got more aggressive bolstering and the four people on hand here have told us they've paid attention to the height of the seats, especially for taller drivers with helmets so they don't bang their head against the roof when they're doing fun off-road stuff as you do in the desert. Now, throughout the interior, you'll see a couple things that are specific to the Raptor, a lot of things that are specific to the Raptor, like the code orange detail and highlights. The code orange seat belts will be optional. You get a standard 12 inch center display and digital gauge cluster. And overall, this thing looks just as functional as you would expect from the Bronco. I still love these toggle switches. If I could flip them the right way, that's just satisfying. Ford's also made a number of structural changes to increase the rigidity of the Bronco platform to withstand, you know, the stuff you're gonna do with it when you have a Bronco Raptor, you know, driving it into rocks and stuff. Now, a couple of those changes are the B-pillar right here, which is stronger than the standard Bronco, and this piece is made out of aluminum. And back there, that piece on the C-pillar is actually carbon. Let's go take a look. So this additional support here is carbon, and that bolt in to make this whole piece a lot stronger. So now that we've talked about the exterior, put a log on the fire, time to get intimate and show you what happens between the sheet metal, right? So this rolling chassis shows you exactly what's been changed or mostly what's been changed from the standard Bronco to the Bronco Raptor. With these handy signs, we can show you exactly what's been changed from the Bronco to the Bronco Raptor. Now, everything that's in color is new, but there's a couple other things that aren't painted that are also new as well, but we'll cover the big points. So you see new shock towers, new control arms, the addition of a jounce bumper that helps support the load from the one here uh, for what happens when you, after you land a super sweet jump let's say. Now it's still a Bronco, so you also get the front locking differential, rear locking differential, and front disconnecting uh, anti-roll bar as well. As we move further back, we can see the exhaust system. Now from the engine, it's a true dual exhaust that feeds into this giant muffler. But the interesting thing is back here where you've got three pipes coming out of the back of the muffler. This pipe right here is the quiet pipe that your neighbors will appreciate. That's what uh, more quiet exhaust flows through. But as you go through the drive modes and things get more aggressive, these valves here open up and let more free flowing exhaust go through those pipes. New trailing arm, new trailing arm mounts, shock tower mounts, and a similar story with the jounce bumpers here. On the back, you see these additions to help improve the towing. This is a uh, got a tow rating of 4,500 pounds and those additional supports make sure you can do that safely. The Bronco Raptor certainly looks like one of the most capable off-road SUVs you can get and it's going to cost roughly $70,000 with destination. Now if you're currently a Bronco reservation holder you can upgrade to get one of these Bronco Raptors and these will go on sale in the summer. We can't wait to drive it. 